Hello, I'm Bunnery. I'm Brett Mann. And this, this is, is IF Extra. <laughs> so, happy March to everyone. Woohoo, March. Yeah, in the UK, March is being celebrated by having snow, <laughs> yes. which is quite weird because <laughs> we haven't had much in February, have we? Mm. Or January, but no, March is here and we have snow. Yeah, yeah, I just looked out the window on the way upstairs and snow. Yeah, yeah. but you know, also the daffodils are coming out. Mm. Maybe the snow drops. <laughs> mm. So, yeah, it's not all bad. <laughs> anyway, what have you been up to this week? Um, well, I mean, as, as a quick video related thing, mm -hmm. getting a new light. Um, oh yeah, that's so true. yes, we might this, look different. <laughs> yeah, ho hopefully, um, hopefully this looks good because um, mm -hmm. I won't see until I then put this on the computer to do the stuff with it before it goes on YouTube. Cool. Um, but uh, yes, yes, considerably smaller, but uh, I think it kind of throws light better. So cool. means there'll be a little bit more room in the office. Awesome, which mm -hmm. will be nice. Um, yeah, um, it's the normal thing, I'm afraid. Sort of tiny bit of interference mm. and then. <laughs> Um, in between all the work <laughs> yeah yeah um we've got basically uh one two we've got three things on and then one thing to immediately follow on for the same client after one of those things yeah so yeah in terms of funding we're we're looking good um in terms of time in terms of <laughs> time so i'm so tired <laughs> um yeah but um i i've tried to sort of factor in having like a day a week to do interference on it this time mm. rather than uh, the previous thing where it was like we need to get some money in uh let's just work work <laughs> yeah 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 um so yeah, I'm I'm hoping that I'm maybe going to start having Fridays to work on interference um, as a regular thing. Monday, Friday. <laughs> yeah, so like, yeah, exactly. So, mm -hmm. yeah, like cool. I say, you know, if I can just kind of sit, sit down, have a day with nothing else kicking off and just, you know, beast mode, can, you know, probably get it done in a few days. But it's just getting that uninterrupted time. <laughs> yeah. People interrupt you all the time. <laughs> yes, anyway, all the time. Why don't yeah. we go and see who won this week's awards? Pitch of the week this week goes to Kaz for Sunset with Lighthouse. I just love how you've got these little squares of different colours. You've got the blues of the sea, then you've got the red and white white house, and then the orangey sky. It looks amazing. I love how you've done that. Well done, Kaz. My favourite description this week was Mr. Krabs at a new low peeking into a random person's house by Kaz. Now, I thought this was interesting because it kind of divides people into bands based on how old you are. For example, I'm in the interesting middle position of I recognise Mr. Krabs, but also I recognise the house from The Simpsons. But you know, if you're a bit younger, you probably only know Mr. Krabs from Spongebob. If you're a bit older, you probably only know The Simpsons. It was interesting. Well, you know, my kind of interesting anyway. Nice work, Kaz. Community pick of the week this week goes to It's Zizu for Tiger with Bat Wings and JB World. Definitely got their colours, but that tiger, so realistic, I like it. Look at the size of those claws, scary. <laughs> well done, it's Zizu. They were amazing. Awesome stuff there as always. Now we're going to see what we were talking about last week in the forums. So last week in the forums, I said, tell us a food that you really hate and why. <laughs> I said, I can't stand peppers, the red and yellow and green ones, like the bell peppers, they call them. Um, I think it's because I was really ill once um, after I ate them and I don't even like the smell of them now. <laughs> and I said, how about you? You know what food I never liked? What? Tomatoes. I know. Um, like, I like the taste of tomato is okay, like ketchup or puree or whatever, mm -hmm. but tomatoes themselves just like mm -hmm. what um guess what it turns out after being on this fodmap diet i shouldn't eat because they're really bad for me <laughs> tomatoes, tomatoes. <that's> why, <laughs> um so yeah i'm having this interesting experience where a lot of the food that i don't like it turns out that actually i have like an intolerance of mm. and i shouldn't be eating it anyway well, on the other hand you absolutely love milk yeah you're not allowed yeah, that yeah, no yeah. So I mean, been... that's a yeah. thing that happens as you get older, though, yeah. seemingly, learning about all this stuff. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, equally, you know, I I also love 
a few things that I'm not supposed to eat now. But sure. anyway, yeah. So mm -hmm. so that's interesting. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, yeah, I mean the the two things that come to mind that I don't like, yeah, tomatoes because mm. just the textures, ah, um, um, <laughs> and um, similar tofu, uh, don't uh, like, don't like the texture of it. Doesn't taste for anything, does it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but equally, I'm not meant to have tofu. There you go. Uh, so you know, there's a thing. Did um, you know that Benjamin Franklin introduced tofu into America, 1717? He brought the recipe from London. I did not know that. No, I didn't until this morning. I mm -hmm. see. Mm -hmm. Today I learned. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, Skag said I couldn't hate olives more. Black, green, pitted, pitless, stuffed. Couldn't matter less which one because they're all foul. I, I disagree with that one. <laughs> I, I used to not like yeah, olives. Yeah, when I was younger I would say, yeah, yeah, you're right. But yeah. now I love them. Um, And it was, I was going to say a few years ago. It's probably quite a while ago mm. now. Um, when we went out for that meal in Edinburgh oh, yeah, um, yeah. with one of our friends who lives up there mm. and he was like, oh, let's get some olives. I'm like, mm, why? <laughs> uh, uh, olives mm. are manky. Um, but I have a thing where if I don't like something, I retry it every so every often self, yeah. just to check because sometimes your taste change. Taste will change, yeah. I have this olive and I'm like, actually, this is really good. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, I like olives now. So, you might like them eventually, Skags. But, you never know. Yeah, I mean, it, it wasn't until I got into my 30s that mm. I started liking them. No, they Weird. <laughs> um, Callum says, something about aubergines is just nope to me. Right. I haven't had moussaka in years. I don't fancy aubergines, no. Um, it's I, slimy and like, it, Yeah, mm. it's interesting because it, it's <laughs> a similar thing to why I don't like tomatoes. But mm. aubergine has sort of enough um structural integrity <laughs> yes that, that I, I can cope with it um plus aubergine they make baba ganoush out of yeah. which is sort of a bit like hummus but made out of aubergine mm. and that smoked. is really nice <laughs> yeah. yeah yeah smoked aubergine mm -hmm. um uh, context um for our uh usa friends uh talking about eggplant oh eggplant okay i think that's aubergine yeah <laughs> those so. those ones that People use the emoji of in mm -hmm. messages. That yeah. that thing. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, it's Zizu saying, I'm with Skags about olives. Uh, also, corn and coconut, not for the taste, but for the texture. I can't explain why I feel icky when I eat those. Ooh. I'll be honest, I haven't read any of these ahead of time. <laughs> but yeah, a lot with me, it's not it's taste not the it. taste it's sometimes, the texture. it's the texture. Mm. I, it's all, oh yeah. yeah. Um but yeah, I mean cor corn and, and coconut. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of all right with. Mm -hmm. Well, I say that. I'm not allowed to eat corn anymore. You can have baby corn. Baby corn, mm. but I can't have... Um... Full-grown corn. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, because, we you know... <laughs> anyway, sorry, go on. Um, how do you say that? Uh, Zyazic. <laughs> Zyazic said, as a kid, I just started eating just olive pizzas. Now I don't want them on there 99% of the time. Also, I can't stand most seafood. Lobster, seafood, chicken or tuna salad. And way too much else to list here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I like seafood. It's nice. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, this is the thing with your taste changing, mm, though. You know, it, as yeah. a kid, just olive pizza. Now mm. don't want them on it. Yeah, um, you just kind get of so sick of it. Yeah. Of me. <laughs> you do, yeah. Um, but, yeah, talking about, um, you know, way too much else to list. Mm. So... Um, our local pub up the road, we uh, we have a chat with all the staff because they're all really sound. Mm. And they've just had a new menu. Yeah. And if you work at a pub, whenever you get a new menu, like all of the staff have a, a day in where they get to try all, all of the, the different food. things. Because mm -hmm. then if someone goes, oh, mm, would, would I like this burger? What's it like? They mm. can go, oh, yeah, I've had that. It's da, 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 da. Mm. Um, but, uh, yeah, we were talking to one of them yesterday. and they've So they've just had this food tasting day. Uh, and she's like a fussy eater. And mm -hmm. she's like, I just had some of the chips. And fudge cake. <laughs> I, had, I, had, I had the chips, um, fries, and mm -hmm. um, and fudge cake. But nah, nah, didn't try it? anything else. It was to always the time of being there. Um, oh, so, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you tried the gyzos. What was it? Gyros. Gyros. Yeah. <laughs> I, is, it, is it gyros? Is it gyros? Gyros, Or maybe. Like the Greek thing. Yeah, Greek kebabs. Mm -hmm. Souvlaki, I suppose. Um, mm. I don't know what the difference between gyros and souvlaki is. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I digress. But yeah, yeah I had uh, Greek kebabs last night. Um, 
It's really good. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Fennec Fox says, <clears throat> I like most everything, but for some reason I don't like peas, bacon, capers and caviar. Entrails aren't my thing either. You No, I don't like awful like liver and kidneys and all that kind of thing. Blah, blah, blah. I ate pigeon once and um, that had the... It gave me big liver vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not um, nice. <laughs> I mean, it, this was a legit thing. I didn't just eat a pigeon. You know, like, <laughs> just sort of oh, like no, in a zombie yeah. film. Like, um, yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, we're in the UK. Entrails were, oh, cool. and to an extent, still are, a big thing here. Um, mm. I mean, you know, black pudding, haggis, I'm, I'm down with that. Mm. Um, never really been into... Um, you know, tripe and things Ugh, like that. No, no, no. Um, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, my, my, my parents being from Lancashire, um, like, you know, northern uh, way, um, uh, yeah, I mean, th that it was stuff that you used to have. Mm, um, exactly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What, what, what's the thing? You have to eat all the animal. Is it a uh, hoggart? That man? Me. That about. <laughs> let's yeah. not go into that anyway, one. <laughs> let's, let's not go into detail. But, um, yeah, I mean, haggis and black pudding. I'm, I'm into that. But no. um, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, in general, no. Mm. Okay, now we're going to see what we'll be doing next week in the forums. Why don't we completely change the vibe of a film by adding just one word to its title? I'll start. Lord of the Onion Rings. If you'd like to join in with that, just head over to the forum games forum post thing. Yep. Right at the top. Section. <laughs> it's the pin thread for the week, so you'll find it at the top of the thread list. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Now, don't forget, tomorrow night is Zeitgeist Quiz Night. That's five rounds, five different topics. Yeah, if you haven't seen this before, every Sunday night at 7pm UK time over on twitch.tv slash interference run Zeitgeist, the interference quiz of the week. It's a live interactive quiz stream where you play along, um, competing for points and places on the leaderboard. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm sort of out of routine here because mm. I, di I didn't breathe in before starting all uh -oh. of that. Um, it's No, I've done that bit. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, brain fog. Um, uh, live interactive quiz stream. Da, 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 da. Each round's based on one of the drawings from Interference. That's Bunnery it. picks five of her favourite drawings and then it. uses them as inspiration for the rounds. So, um, you know, Drawing of a seagull, seabirds, seaside resorts, things with wings, things that steal your chips, People things that have been, <laughs> yeah, things called Steve, uh, <laughs> things that have been overused as an example by yeah. me. Mm. Yes. Uh, and we don't know what the pictures are until the night. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we, you know, it's a surprise for everyone, including me. Uh, we see the picture, have a little guess as to what we think it might be, then get into some questions on it. Yeah. Of course, you know, because you write all of the questions. I've done it, yeah. And you like to tease us with the names of the featured artists, <gasps> don't you? This week's famous artists are Zim Vivi, Nine Green Bottles, Cozy Critter, Jonathan Cartoons, who sounds fun, and Desai 109. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we'll look out for their pictures tomorrow. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. um, so, if you'd like to see what uh, their drawings and, and what the topics are, mm -hmm. uh, you'll have to join us tomorrow at 7 pm UK. You will. But, so that's uh, what's happening tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But what happened last week? Well, last week we had a winner, which was Darth with 230. Brilliant score. Aaron the Invincible second with 211, and then Ceiling Bumps with third with 200 points. Uh, yeah, this was an interesting one because Darth uh, didn't do so well in the early no, rounds. No, but then she stormed up and, the charts. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I, I think... I think it was a bit of a leapfrog in yeah. the last round, wasn't yeah. it? Because um, they, they weren't at the top um, at the end of round four no. and then just in at the end. Got mm. in there. Very cool. exciting. It was exciting, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's tomorrow, Sunday the 3rd of March. That's all the news for now. Just goes to say. Yeah, if you're not already taking part in the game, then get involved. You can play on the web at playinterference.com or search for Interference in the App Store on your device and download the app. You can also join the chat with us over on Discord, playinterference.com slash Discord. You know, we got cat pictures, stuff like that, all mm -hmm. of the important things. <laughs> um, uh, if you'd like to give us a bit of ongoing monthly support for the... Uh, I've sort of gone into this all wrong. Um, <laughs> if you'd like to give us a bit of uh, monthly support, monthly support exactly. for the ongoing maintenance of the game, That's building it. in new features, doing this website overhaul and all these other things that I'm trying to fit in around work, you know, monthly support does help us take a little bit less work. Um, we're on Patreon, patreon.com slash interference. In return, you get support to Stacey and Interference, so you get things like replays, you get extra game mode, you get all kinds of cool stuff. And if you're a quiz player, you get a custom enter and shout out from Ava. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, that's all the news for today. I'll see you again next week. Yeah, have a great week. We'll see you next Saturday. Bye-bye.